The plate of charge is a more typical example of the voltage calculation where we would be using the uh, differential uh, version for the point particle, R dV equals K dQ on R, uh, to calculate the voltage at a point in space. So in this case, what is the voltage, right? along the x-axis, so what does that equal in general? Based on having a plate or disc, and to give the perspective, I hope you can see that the disc sits perpendicular to the x-axis, so the x-axis goes right through the center of the disc or the plate. The uh, plate has a radius of capital R, and we are going to utilize our dV differential, KDQ on R, to do this calculation. Now, we have a little bit uh, more to work with mathematically here because in addition to our hula hoop, the example we just looked at, we have a lot of hula hoops. We have to integrate from little r prime equals zero out to capital R, where r prime is not a derivative, that's a dummy variable. So I have two little r's. I have the little r that is part of my differential for the voltage at the point in space on the x-axis. And I now also need to introduce a dummy variable, r prime, to be able to integrate from zero out to capital R. All right. Well, we definitely will have to do our substitution for dq. So dq equals sigma dA. I know I am using this equation anytime I have a two-dimensional plane or disk to work with. Let's make sure we understand our differential uh, area dA exactly. So dA corresponds to the area that dQ sits on, and I'm zooming, zooming, zooming in here as far as I can go. So dA represents this area. This area is made up of a dr prime, and it's so it's base, here's my base, times my height. So dA, I'm going to zoom out a little bit then. So dA equals base, which is my arc length ds times my dr prime. ds is r prime d theta, so r d theta times dr prime, so that is the r dr prime d theta that I have shown down here. So r dr prime d theta is my dA. So we are going to substitute in for dq and integrate and hopefully be able to get full physics credit in terms of structuring the correct integral to take to our mathematician friends. So let's see how that plays out. Well, we're pretty much in shape. We've done most of the hard work. So I've numbered your rubric to get full fit physics credit. So make sure you put in the numbers I'm looking for. It doesn't have to be in the order that I show them, but you have to show me the DQ slice. You have to show me the R going to the point in space where you want to calculate the voltage. You have to show me your uh, DQ substitution uh, that you are doing. So that DQ is this DQ, is this bracketed term. And one of the hardest parts, believe it or not, is the limits. Uh, we are integrating the dr prime and we are integrating the d theta. The dr prime goes from zero to capital R. The d theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, and that gives us the whole plate. Now, the little r we have to be a little careful with, right? Because the little r has an r prime in it, right? So little r here, let me show that explicitly. Little r equals r prime squared plus r squared square root. Or, I'm sorry, x squared. Ah rushing, plus x squared square root. So that is where this bottom term comes from, but that r prime has to be in there uh, to be with the r prime, dr prime that we have. If you have this step, 
right? This one here, the full credit, up to the full credit line, you will get full credit for our physics class because there is no more physics to do. It is really all just mathematics. To show you how that mathematics plays out, it's a U sub. So let's see what our U sub actually is. So our U substitution is that U is going to equal R prime squared plus X squared. So du dr prime equals 2 r prime. So du equals 2 r prime dr prime. So the 2 r prime dr prime is my term here. I'm missing the 2. I need to bring in the 2 and take out a 1 half. Here is my u to the 1 half. So it becomes a u sub where I am integrating right, u, that's here, u to the minus one half, integrate increase, becomes plus one half, so actually missing a one half, becomes plus one half, uh, divided by one half, and we integrate, we plug in our values from zero to r, and we get our final answer. So I will give you full credit for structuring the problem correct as a physicist so that you would have the absolute correct answer it would be in differential form but the correct answer uh, to be able to integrate to get to the final part and even for the AP test uh, you would be into the you know nine out of ten points uh, to just finish the mathematics